Hey guys, it's Sarah from The Simple Life of Sarah. For this week's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your ice cream. So let's get on with the video. Let's go. To start, we are going to gather our ingredients. Some of the things you might want to use are crushed up cookies, smashed Oreo bits, I'll show you them later, brownie bits, gummy bears, peanuts, magic hard shell, which you can use after, after you finish your ice cream or you can freeze it and use bits of it in your, in it. Chocolate bars or chocolate shavings. Marshmallows. Chocolate chips or hot fudge. So let's get to making our ice cream. I'm gonna start by smashing my Oreo pieces. You don't want your Oreo in crumbs, so you wanna only smash it a little bit. I'm using this. And I like to mix it around a bit. Now, you have Oreo bits. I'm gonna use some in my ice cream. Now that we have all our ingredients ready, I'm gonna start adding the ice cream. So I am using Breyers Creamery Style French Vanilla. And surprisingly, you need a lot of ice cream. Well, that's if, if you wanna fill one of the containers I'm using. So I put in about three to five scoops of ice cream. It depends how big you want your scoops. My containers are by Ziploc. They're the twist and seal and they are size mini. They can hold one cup. So that's about the amount of ice cream you want. Now I'm going to bring this over to the sink. Hold up my ice cream and start adding ingredients. But first, before that, I like to flatten my ice cream just to make it a little bit easier to mix it in. This makes for the best dessert after dinner. I'm going to start with brownie bits. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in. That looks good. Oh, one even fell on top of the spatula. So that's what it looks like. And then I start mixing it in. I like smushing them and making them into smaller pieces. Then it evens it out. So each bite has a bit of brownie. I also like using a spatula so then you can fold the ice cream on top of it, each other. Just keep mixing and mixing. As you can see, your ice cream starts to get softer, which will make it easier to mix in your next toppings. Next, I'm going to add Oreo crumbs. Then sprinkle some in. This was two, two Oreos. Mix this in. This ice cream is looking good. Look how good this ice cream looks. Okay, so now I'm going to add chocolate chips. I 
love having my ice cream with chocolate chips. It just completes it. Here's that. He looks super good. Here it is so far. The last thing I'm going to add are cookie pieces. I'm using Famous Amos chocolate chip cookies. You may not think it's good in cookie in ice cream, but it actually is really good. Now I'm gonna mix this in, and this ice cream is done. I prefer freezing my ice cream for a couple hours because then it was it won't be so soft and won't melt as fast. But it's truly up to you. Just folding the ice cream on top, like so. Now with my ice cream, I'm gonna take it here. Right here. These are the Ziploc containers that I was telling you about. They hold one cup. I'm gonna spoon my ice cream ins inside. This looks so good. And you can add anything really to your ice cream. You can personalize it. So good. Take all the ice cream. Here is my ice cream. Now the last step is naming your ice cream. I don't know why I should name this one. Comment down below what you think I should name it. But for now, I'm just going to call it, why not? Let's just go with vanilla with chocolate. Vanilla with chocolate by S. So here it is. Screw on the lid, and into the freezer it goes. I'll check back in about three hours. Approximately three and a half hours since I put the ice cream into the freezer. Now here it is. Vanilla and chocolate. I couldn't come up with a better name. This is the inside. Now the best part, we get the taste test. This is the perfect It's so good. Mmm. That's really good. This ice cream has vanilla ice cream, brownie bits, chocolate chips, Oreo pieces, and famous Amos cookies. Some of the other items I've made are the Festival of Chocolate, basically anything chocolate. The Ultimate, which is one my mom made. And another one, this is called Cotton Candy Without the Cotton Candy, because I dyed it neon pink with food coloring. You can also dye your ice cream different color to make it look really cool. So I dyed this one neon pink. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked my video, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see for next week's video. Until then, 
Bye, guys.